Welcome to Private Sessions. I'm Lynn Hoffman, and I'm so glad you're here with me. She has been called the hot queen of rock and is one of the top-selling female recording artists of all time. In addition to winning four consecutive Grammys, I'm talking about Pat Benatar. And with her from the musical beginnings was her partner, songwriter, producer, guitarist, and husband, Neil Giraldo. Today we are so pleased to be spending this hour with Pat Benatar and Neil Giraldo right now on Private Sessions. Pat, Neil, Spider. Yes. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I can't believe that you're finally here. We've worked hard and long to get you guys you to know, come on private sessions. I don't know how that happened, but oh. we're happy to finally be here. <laughs> yes, I know. And you know what? You guys started it all together, which is, you know, an amazing story. Is it true that you've been together professionally and personally for the better part of 30 years now? Mm -hmm. 31. 31. 31 years. 31 years. I don't know how you do it. Oh, stop. Take it easy. <laughs> no, I'm just really seriously curious if you could give one hint of what makes it work for you two. Because sure. forget about the fact that you work together, but just being married that long, raising a family is sure. a feat Jesus. in itself. You just have to marry someone cute. She's always right. But that wasn't the way it was supposed to be. <laughs> Where's my rim shot? I was supposed to say that first. <laughs> that's the truth. She's always right. I, that's it. That's all right. Well, that, hey, I'll take that. It's Men, easy. are you listening out there? Simple. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> so back in uh, 1979, before you got the band together, mm -hmm. um, were you looking for a musical partner? Were you kind of on the lookout for someone? Yeah, I'd already signed to Chrysalis Records, and um, we started the record with um, just kind of uh, session players. And uh, we put, put it together, and uh, the record company put it together. And, you know, I had, I had a really clear idea of what it was I wanted to do, but, I, you know, it was difficult to articulate to them. They weren't getting it exactly. Mm -hmm. And we actually cut about four or five of the songs. And when, we, when I heard it back, I was like, oh. I couldn't believe it. I was finally getting the opportunity after waiting so long, and it was so wrong. It was just wrong. And then they scrapped the whole thing because it, was, it just had no soul. It wasn't going anywhere. It just... It wasn't what I meant, right. and um, Mike Chapman, who they had originally wanted to produce, wasn't available at all in the for the first part of it, and then he became available to do some of it. And uh, well, thank goodness when he came in, <sighs> he brought Peter Coleman, who who uh, wound up uh, producing three quarters of the record. Mike did a very small part, but the most important thing is that Mike knew Spider, and he said we went and we you know we talked and we were discussing about you know how I wanted to. Uh, you know, had this band, and I wanted to have a partner, a musical partner, so it wasn't just like some girl singer standing up there with a faceless band behind right. her. I wanted like a partnership, like Keith and Mick and Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. And he said, "You know, I think I've got the person. I know this kid. He's 22 years old, really good looking, plays amazing. I think this is exactly what you're looking for." And he sent Spider. <laughs> and he sent. And the rest. <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> well, so so really from the start, Neil uh, yeah. Spider, you've been in charge or really responsible for Correct. the band's sound. The two of us, yeah. How was it challenging for you at first, considering that Pat was really trained classically, theatrically? It, it, it was challenging, but it was easy mm -hmm. it, because the talent, the pure talent, was there, and all I had to do is just kind of help shape it. Yeah. So what I did. It just the two, the two of us started together. It was just us before the band. Mm -hmm. What I did was mess around with keys, and the keys that she was singing in with the failed project she did before, mm -hmm. I jacked them up. When we come back, we'll hear about Pat Benatar's new memoir, Between a Heart and a Rock Place. Stay with us.